Okay, so we want to draw the Lewis dot structure of chloric acid, which is HClO3. Before beginning to draw the structure, I want to make uh, uh, one, one thing uh, pretty clear is that uh, whenever we are going to draw structures of any acid which has oxygen and hydrogen as secondary atoms I mean chlorine is the central atom here so I'm talking about the central uh, uh, secondary atoms which are oxygen and hydrogen first we must make sure that the number of H or the hydrogens must be equal to the number of OH bonds, okay? So number of H present is equal to number of OH bonds, right? Except in uh, acids of phosphorus. Because in acids of phosphorus, whenever we, are, uh, we draw the structure, we make sure that a double bond oxygen is already attached to phosphorus. And then again, uh, and then later on, we proceed uh, to draw the structures uh, of different phosph uh, acids of phosphorus and uh, the number of hydrogens it has and that many uh, OH bonds it will carry. But in normal uh, acids, uh, in uh, sulfur acids, in chlorine acids, the number of hydrogen atoms present is equal to number of OH bonds. Okay. So, let's draw now. I'm going to rub this. Okay. Let me do this. Okay, so what is the electronic configuration of chlorine? Now chlorine uh, is an element from halogen family and halogen family elements have seven electrons in its valence shell. Okay, so chlorine and now we are going to write its electronic configuration. Okay, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2 and 3p5 okay and what is the valence shell here the third shell okay the third shell is the outermost shell which is the valence shell and how many electrons do we have in the valence shell 2 plus 5 which is 7 electrons okay good now we are drawing the central atom chlorine and it has 7 electrons right okay 1 2 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, no problem. Now, uh, previous to this, I wrote number of H is equal to number of OH bonds. Okay, no problem. Let it be like this. O, H first. Now, now we, have, we have used our H and we have used an oxygen also, okay? So we are now left with two oxygens. Second oxygen, third oxygen. Now this was a very rough diagram, okay? Actual diagrams or the actual representation of molecule is determined by hybridization, okay? So this was just a rough diagram and you can say that uh, in chloric acid there is one OH bond attached to the main central atom which in here is chlorine and two oxygen atoms are attached to chlorine, okay? Now what will be the actual geometry? Okay, let's find out. In order to do that, we are going to find out the hybridization, okay? So, for hybridization, we are going to count uh, the number of valence electrons. In hydrogen, we have one. In chlorine, we have seven electrons. In valence shell, two plus five, seven. In oxygen, we have six, okay? And there are three atoms of oxygen, so we are going to multiply this six by 
3 okay now 8 plus 18 right which is uh, I'm sorry which is 24 I'm sorry I'm sorry 26 right now we are going to divide this 26 by 8 we get three bonds plus one lone pair and this is three plus one is four which corresponds to sp3 hybridization so we, are, we have got its actual geometry which is uh, tetragonal okay tetragonal geometry uh, will be corresponding to chloric acid so now we'll we are going to draw the actual uh, diagram of chloric acid okay let's do this mm -hmm. did i disturb the board okay now we are going to draw the actual uh, diagram of chloric acid in tetragonal we you know all the bonds are having 109 degrees and 27 28 minutes uh, they make 109 degrees and 28 minutes with each other okay so this was chlorine we have one OH bond one oxygen bond another oxygen bond and sorry and this is the lone pair done so this is the actual geometry of chloric acid thank you and i hope you found the video helpful i'll see you guys next time